Well, good evening. It's been one great day, and as it turned out, that was the best thing that could have possibly happened as far as severe weather goes. Now, we are totally out of the woods. We're going to keep an eye on south of town. Right now, quiet sweep on live early warning Doppler 9. Look at all the storms down to our south, South Georgia, South Carolina, all seeing that heavy weather. Here is why we have escaped the severe storms. Temperatures, they have been held down until just the last couple of hours. We've got 50s north of I-85. We've got mid to upper 60s south of town into the South Carolina Midlands. So what's going to happen as we go through this evening, just scattered showers. There may be the rumble of thunder about 6, 7, 8 o'clock. After that, we should be good to go as far as the severe weather risk goes. Now, if any of these storms do get going, here's the possibility. On the timing, we're looking at between now and about 11 o'clock. After that, we should be okay. Just showers around. As far as the actual risk, I'd say a gusty damaging wind would be the greatest threat. And as far as location goes, I'm most concerned about south of town. Here is why. This particular future cast strips away all the rain, just looks at where are we most likely to see rotating thunderstorms. And anywhere you see color, especially bright colors, like in a number of higher than two, that's where you run the risk of quick spin-up tornadoes. We don't get there, but we do see a little bit of color south over the Midlands, Lancaster, Union County, Anson County, through early evening, and then we're good to go after that. And that's why I'm talking about a relatively short window. Again, flash flooding, possible in some of the heavier downpours, although most don't see it. And again, damaging wind would be the greatest threat from that. Make sure you stay informed. Download our free app from the App Store or Google Play Store, and we will make sure that you stay on top of this. Overnight lows tonight, upper 50s to about 60. It'll be warm everywhere, even in the mountains. We may see some leftover clouds first thing tomorrow. That does not last. High country may actually see a morning shower, and that will dry things out as the day goes on. In fact, into Saturday, another weak weather system will be working our way. Scattered showers with that by late Saturday afternoon. That scoots out, introducing a great Sunday. Story on the weekend of the two weekend days, no question, Sunday would be the better of the two. No chance for rain, a lot more sun, and still mild behind that cold front. We'll be managing the lower 70s. As far as rain chances go, highest on Saturday afternoon and evening, and then again toward the middle of next week. There's a lot of time to enjoy some dry weather and mild weather, too. Our average high is 75, and that's pretty much where we will be as we work our way through late week, the weekend, and early next week. Have a good night.